I just finished a really exciting concert with my quartet, Emergence Quartet. We're repeating the program two more times, but we already have a ton of footage from our first concert. I started getting it up on the channel and I'm going to continue to share more movements from the program, so I thought it would be nice to just talk to you a little bit about Emergence Quartet. We started in fall 2013 as a period instrument group that was exploring the beginning of the string quartet as a genre. The first two programs we did were all early pieces coming out of the Baroque period that were setting up what the string quartet would soon become. In our last program we did something a little different where we started jumping into the early classical repertoire. We're still playing on period instruments but we're playing at the 430 pitch instead of 415 and we're using transitional and classical bows instead of our Baroque bows. This program focused on Haydn, known as the father of the string quartet, and some of his friends and colleagues who were writing pieces in response to him. It was pretty ambitious for us because it included much bigger, weightier pieces than the earlier Baroque stuff we had played on previous programs. For me personally, it was a new challenge because I'm usually playing 17th century and early 18th century repertoire, so to start moving out of the Baroque and really into the classical period was totally new for me. But I think that's one of the things that's so great about playing with a group. The other girls in the quartet had suggested, you know, what if we did this program based on Haydn and we played Mozart and we played all these other pieces that were sort of responding to Haydn and I thought, uh, I don't feel like I can do that. I'm so used to playing bass lines, playing continuo, uh, just playing this classical repertoire where the role of the cello really starts to change felt like it was just totally out of my zone. But the best thing about it was once we really got deep into rehearsals, um, I was amazed to see everyone sort of help bring me up to that level and get used to playing repertoire that I wasn't as comfortable with. It's been really great playing with Emergence the past few years and having each of us sort of bring our own interests and personality to the table. I think that's what makes a really great chamber group. Lucky for us, we have two more performances of this program, so we're going to have more time to experiment, have fun, and best of all, record the performances too. If you're close to the Boston area, you can check us out on May 12th and June 12th. Uh, all the details for that are on our website. But as always, we'll have it recorded and put up on YouTube as well. Early music and period performance is becoming more and more popular, but you actually don't see string quartets as often as I think you should. It's great to hear Baroque orchestras playing Baroque repertoire, soloists exploring this music, but why not quartets too? Nearly all classical music fans like string quartets, so there's no reason not to start bringing that into the early music movement. If you're interested in the quartet, be sure to subscribe and check out the Emergence Quartet playlist that has all of the videos that we've filmed so far. Though all the videos we have now are from live performances, we'd love to start doing live streams um, and actually recording videos directly for YouTube. So if you like the quartet, there's a lot of different ways you can help us out. By joining my Patreon, you can help support all the video production that I do on this channel, which includes Emergence Quartet. Right now, I'm looking to reach some new goals so that I can help expand my live stream portion of my channel. With a little bit more funding, I'll be able to do high quality live streams that can include Emergence Quartet full programs. If you'd like to come see us live, you can look to make a donation directly to the quartet to help support the cost in putting on a live concert. We'll be putting up more footage soon from our April concert, and we'll have even more to share after our upcoming concerts the next few months. Mm -hmm.